Hello, everyone, and welcome back. And I should start by saying congratulations on 500... <laughs> I've started again, so excited. $500,000 raised for Prevent Cancer Foundation. Good stuff. Let's keep it going. Our next run is all set and ready. If you're a fan of Mega Man and Joust, you want to see them bundled into this adorable feathered package with all the burbs, then we're going to have a good day. This is the Space Gulls 100% run presented by Oopla. And maintenant, Monsieur Oopla, bonne chance, mon ami. All right, thanks. Hello, hello everyone. Uh, I'm Hoopla, I'm a French speedrunner. Your French is beautiful, super jamous. I love it. <laughs> and welcome to uh, Space Girls. So this is a NES homebrew game. I'm really happy I can show this off on uh, IGDQ. This is a great game. Uh, I'm going to run the 100% category on version 1.1. So we are going to save the animals for the Metroid fans. Uh, that means we are going to rescue four uh, Cosmo Chicks. Uh, this is a game made by uh, Mothcat Games. Uh, this is actually two people that made this game in only one week, so that's pretty crazy. Uh, as you said, it's inspired by Mega Man, Just, and DuckTales, so you're gonna catch the references, I'm, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, that's it, I'm the world record holder, and we'll try to get a good run. So we go in five, four, three, two, one honk, let's go! So I talked with a game designer and he designed this section as a nest. You have to drop out of the nest and learn how to fly, that's very cool. So I mash A to fly and I use the, the D-pad to move, uh, that's it about the controls. So I'm gonna bounce from these enemies to uh, kill them. They have two HPs. But uh, the, the main speed trick of the game is gonna be to uh, try to get double hits. So let's see if I get it. No. That's pretty precise, so I have set up no, like, like this. When I land on the lower part of the hitbox, I can uh, get two hits on them and one shot them. This is the first Cosmo Chick, very free to go. Uh, let's see if I get one more double hit there. Nice. So I'm gonna try to do this in every room. Uh, next is a green walker. I have to kill him before he shoots up. All right. So I'm gonna navigate through this uh, section. These are spikes, Mega Man spikes, but they don't one-shot you, hopefully. This is an egg to get some health back. And uh, apart from the double hit, the movement, the movement is uh, really precise. You have to fly to get acceleration and stuff like that. Next coming up is a uh, 360 Gizmo. They have 5 hit points, but I can just do that and kill them. And this is a turret. It also has uh, 5 hit points. You can double hit it uh, also. I will try to do that later. So let's go to the second Cosmo Chick. I need to get some hit and get a death warp back to the save room. This way. And uh, if you don't want to fight the enemies, you can just uh, dispawn them like that. Goodbye. So I need to um, beat all the enemies to unlock the doors to the next room, and sometimes I need to grab a key. We'll see that later. Okay, let's try to get some double hits. No, that's fine. Uh, this is a jetpack gizmo. Goodbye. I can chain some hits like that. Okay, grab the key, move on. This room is pretty tricky. Yeah, I missed the double hit. Try to get a get uh, back up here. Yes, double hit there. Okay, let's go. Damage boost. So damage boosts are, are quite important also at the end of the game because uh, you get some acceleration and uh, and uh, high frames. This is very useful. Uh, these are the jumpers, they have 2 HP, and it's really easy to get a double hit if you land on them uh, while they jump. Let's see if I get some double hit there. Not this one, maybe the last one. No, almost. So health management is really important. I only have uh, half of my health now, so I must be careful. In the last section of the game, 
which is a climb. I'm gonna need full health, so I will have to refill at some point. Okay, so let's get the backup health. In a world record at attempt, you just keep every refill, and that's very dangerous. Uh, these are the, the surfers, saber, saber surfers, sorry. <laughs> so as you can see, they attack me as soon as I get too close. So they are a bit annoying, you have to uh, bait them into attacking and try to get a one cycle with three quick hits. Nice double hit there. Let's go. Okay, good. He didn't have any time to attack. And I'm gonna head to the third uh, Cosmo Chick. It's pretty straightforward, so if you wanna read uh, any donation now. Certainly. Rick sends in $250 that says, Thank you so much for all that you do. Cancer doesn't stand a chance with people like you around. Thank you, Rick. Appreciate it. $50 coming in from Christo. First time donating after years of watching. Having seen how cancer affects those close to me, I'm very honored to be able to help chip in and contribute to the cause. Good luck to all, and more importantly, have fun. Sarah and Ivan sent in $100. Is there a better gift than giving for a good cause and awesome games at the same time? We can't think of one. Happy birthday, brother. And what, one more? One more. And $100 coming in from Anonymous that says, let's get those Final Fantasy incentives. Okay, thanks. Back to you. Oh, Back to you. <laughs> so I get some damage boosts with, with uh, high frames to get uh, the last kill. And uh, this room is tricky. I only need to kill the, the enemies that were already present in the room, not the guys that spawn afterwards. So I have to choose which enemy to kill. I'm gonna head to the last uh, Cosmo Chick in this secret room here. I'm very low on HP, so it's gonna be tough. I think I get one spike hit and I die. Let's see. Okay, let's play safe. Good. <laughs> that was close. And another death floor. Yeah. Back to the main track, so I just need to reach the end of the game now and kill the final boss. She's gonna be really hard starting from here, I should be careful with my health. I want to, I want to stay at full health for the last part, so I can show off some cool uh, damage boosts. I'm gonna attempt the key grab, so that's the trick to Grab a key from below, that saves uh, quite a bit of time here. Let's go. Yeah, I got it. Nice, that's really precise. And now this room. Double hit, trigger, hit, hit, and I got it. Okay, so this is the climb, that's super hard, so I'm gonna focus now. Let's go for triple damage boost strat. Ah, oh, I missed it. <laughs> you can damage boost and go to the right side and through the spikes. That's, that's a hard setup. Okay, last room. No, that's not what I want to do. <laughs> okay, that, I died, but that's fine. Uh, you don't lose that much time when you die in this game, in this run. Let's try again. Okay, damage boost. Let's go. Now the final boss. This is already the end. It's uh, Dr. Beak. I need to hit him uh, 31 times and avoid uh, the enemies and bullets. Let's go. the ground and time 
Uh, oh, that's a good run. A low 8, I think. That's cool. Uh, world record is 748. I got it uh, a few days ago. So I'm pretty happy. Just one death in the climb, that's usual. <laughs> All right, so uh, shout out to Morph Cat Game for this amazing game. Uh, definitely try this out. You can get it on uh, he.io. And they also make uh, the NES game, Ombu Games. So check out their website, uh, morphcat.de. Uh, so shout out to Overswarm for making me discovering uh, this game on the Zenith tournament. And check out the Zenith Free tournament. It's a tournament, an NES tournament with cash. It's going live uh, right now. Uh, also, shout out to my uh, soon-to-be wife. Uh, she's been supporting me, uh, sur supporting me uh, doing these runs uh, every day. So thank you very much, and uh, thanks to GDQ for having me and doing these great events. I've been following you uh, since the beginning, ten years ago, and that's what got me into speedrunning. So keep up the good work and uh, enjoy the show, everyone. Bye bye. Upla, thank you so very, very much for your run. Merci beaucoup. Now, before we get to our next run, we have some uh, uh, commercials to cut to, so we will get to that, and we will be right back.